Hey guys, what's up? It's Volvier One and Only, and welcome back to some more Pirates of the Caribbean. We last left off. We have to go talk to Jack. What does Jack want us to do? Undead duelist? Jeez. Sounds like a typical MMO thing where I just have to fight so many of these guys. Oh my god, actually, a lot more. Jesus. I mean, considering it's the main quest, uh, I mean, they're gonna give us a lot to do. So let's go ahead and try to find these guys wherever they were. <laughs> I've definitely forgotten, like, all the places of where I would normally find mobs. But, cut through. Ow. Uh, where is that? Is it. I think it's over. Oh. Yeah, it's right next to um, King's Head. That sounds like fun. Let's. Let's. Go ahead and get on the ship and sail there. Yay! That's so far. <laughs> Alright, seven seas. We're finally here. Oh my god. Alright, we have landed. Oh, well, this guy's level 18. Yeah, level 18. Alright, we should be fine. But the thing I'm surprised about, they didn't actually make it like a shortcut for the compass map yet. Ah, uh, dead duelist. These guys are not it. Let's go down here. Oh, here's here's one. Oh yeah, I'm still using this hand sword. Forgot about that. Oh my god, he dropped the chest. Uh, I'm gonna take that yeast and um. Nah, 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 nah. Somebody can come up here and pick up that shirt out of that chest. Kind of funny because uh, when you get like clothes and stuff, you're just sitting here like, where did this even come from? So during the middle of this, I decided to go back to my old clothes. I think they look a lot better. Nah, eh, I kind of miss this one to be honest, because I I normally like, <laughs> I love the hats. So I'm gonna go back to this. I gotta say, Pirates, Pirates Online was pretty much one of my favorite. Well, I guess you can label it as action. MMO as a kid? I guess you believe it as an action. I mean, you have to push every time just to attack, so I'm I'm gonna count it as an action RPG. I mean, you can sell your own ships and everything. I mean, it, let's be honest, it was pretty much the most unique game out there. Then, Wizard 101 tried to copy it a little bit with, um, with the whole Pirates 101. They were thinking to themselves, oh, pirates, that's unique. Let's just go ahead and try and make our own pirate game, you know? <laughs> and they went for the whole selling thing, too. But I don't think there was a lot of, like, shit battles in that game. To be honest, I never really played a whole bunch of pirates online. And I'm, a, you know, I'm pretty much a huge pirate fan as well. And for some reason, I couldn't get into Pirates 101. And plus, it also had strategy elements into it, too. Eh, to be honest, if I was to play it now, I could probably get into it, but... Yeah, I'm not willing to go back into membership routes, so... Yep, that's the thing. <laughs> Kinda happy the, that the devs didn't go into membership with this game. Mostly because they, they really can't, because it's not their personally owned game. They didn't actually, like, create the game itself or have the rights to... Pirates Online, so they couldn't, even though some of them, some of the other rewritten games tried to, which they probably shouldn't. Uh, let's go ahead and increase those. Am I even using this skill? I have no idea. Um, I guess let's just Increase hack. Why not? <laughs> but yeah, I played a lot of games as a kid. Most of them, most of them were MMOs. Like I played, um, what was it, Free Realm? Even though I'm pretty sure somebody was working on a Free Realm game, on like bringing it back. Switch my pistol. I need to level this up for sure. But. I'm not sure if they're still working on it as of now or anything. 
I would love to know though. Because I know there's a few of my favorite games that people are actually working on, like, um, what was it? Um, I always played it. I don't know what. Rusty Hearts! That's what it was. Somebody's working on Rusty Hearts, and I haven't really heard much about it. I need to. I need to go back and check on that game and see how they're doing with the whole rewriting that game. Die of Poison. Alright, next mission. Hold on. Let me go ahead and find it now. Yeah. Okay, we did do this one. Next is the Spanish ones and the other one. Okay, so they're on the other side where I had started. At least I think I, they're on this side. They should be. Are these guys? The, yeah, these guys are the other ones. Ah, man. Okay, wow. Excuse me? You're amazing. For some reason, you're. Uh, are you a samurai or a freaking pirate, dude? It's one of those, like, really good <laughs> samurais from those games that can hit you from far away. And that's. That's that's amazing, to be honest. That's a, that's a talent. It's a it's a very annoying talent at that. Now I'm gonna have to look out for other enemies that can do some crap like that. I don't think I'm supposed to be fighting this guy now that I think about it. I think this is the wrong guy. At least I think so. Okay, no, 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 it's not. Right one. I think the reason why this game is so refreshing to me is just because uh, I actually get to try out some of the weapons and get further in the game than I was when the game had uh, membership. Because membership kept me from like playing too much of the game because I was only limited to leveling up to a certain point. And I can explore like so much of the quests and everything. I don't think there was like a point to where the quest was like stop you. I don't know if there was a level cap or anything either. But this is from like me trying to remember. Get out of here. But if anybody ever remembers anything I'm talking about, do feel free to let me know in the comments because I don't remember there being like a level cap towards your character's level. Remember there being a cap towards your actual weapons. Like, you can only go up to, I think, level 10 inside of every other... And every other weapon, like shooting, swords... Um, well, we couldn't get the grenades. All we were actually... Only thing that was actually available to us up until then was um, the pot. Was the doll. Yeah, the cursed doll was the highest thing non-members could get. So yeah, that was pretty annoying for us. Is that, is that a chest? Hold on. What's in there? Yeah, stuff I don't want. But yeah, it's like for a lot of non-member people. I mean, Wizard 101 was the same too because uh, they didn't, they didn't really stop you from like leveling your character, but they definitely did hit you with a lot of progression uh, setbacks. Just because most of us would literally just be sitting inside of the um, Kraken. Like, Kraken area. Just farming. Trying to get in. Trying to find empty servers where other people weren't. Just because we were just trying to farm, like, the, um, the Kraken for, like, XP. Oh, wow. A boss randomly appeared. Screw it. Why not? Oh, wow. He actually does a decent amount of damage. We have to sort of battle this guy into submission. So I could definitely say Pirates Online was way better than Wizard 101 back then. Just because it had like way more unique things to it. I can say it is still that way, kind of. Except for back then it had like a lot more players. And unfortunately... It doesn't right now. Hopefully it'll actually go back to its old glory. All they gotta do is get the game way more optimized. Start advertising it. 
to get more players back into the game. I mean, they have a couple of YouTubers who still play the game. Like me, sometimes. But they definitely don't have as many as they used to from what I see. Alright, let's stop some damage so I can get my potion up. Even though I don't really explore around YouTube too much, so I don't really watch too many other con content creators that are doing things that I'm doing or playing games that I'm playing. So let's say I'm I'm currently going back into uh, Twin Saga. I don't really watch any other YouTubers that play Twin Saga. So, yep. Like I said, don't really explore too much inside of the same genre as other people. Or the same genre as people explore with me. Pretty sure other YouTubers do the same too. Just because they're trying to focus on their own content. Which I build them. I, I do the same thing. I don't really try to focus on too many other channels. Channels. Because I'm also trying to just do my own thing. Uh, is that another one? Yeah, it is. It's funny because I said I was going to see you guys in a while. When I was done with the quest or something. And I just got straight into farming and <laughs> talking to you guys. I think you guys prefer this, don't you? Instead of just skipping everywhere. You know, more of just a explore with me, a quest at a time. I think the problem with that is just because um, I normally try to get as many quests as I can into a video instead of keep you guys on the same quest for a whole video or through two videos. At least try to put two in. Now let me know which one you guys enjoy more. You know, do you enjoy just me just not skipping too much or you guys just like taking a journey with me on a quest? Oh my god, no, don't shoot it. I am not really, I am not looking forward to go back to, um, you know, prison and leave him alone. Because if you guys don't know, if you die in this game, they send you to prison and you get a whole bunch of debuffs on your HP and your, and your MP. I wonder if they actually fit this sound for the voodoo doll. Nah, I'm, I'm actually trying that out. Oh, he dropped it. Go, mine. Hold on. All right, these enemies aren't gonna pop up anytime soon. Okay, never mind. Speaking of dope. All right. So, I've talked about the voodoo doll a lot in my videos. Okay. Yep. <laughs> they finally fixed it. I talked about the voodoo doll a lot in my videos just because it would have like a somewhat of a latency with its like effects to the point where as soon as you're done killing somebody, the after sound was just stay there. It was actually really annoying after a while because it, it wouldn't stop until you actually logged off. But it's good to... But it's good to see that they're um, making progress. I was going to say, is this going to be the same one? This guy's just dying in the same spot, just stacking treasure. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of YouTubers have helped them with a lot of fixes and bugs that have been going around too. Because I'm pretty sure I do have a few devs that watch my videos. A few. Nah, probably like one, maybe. I'm not sure if it, if any of them actually watch my videos. I feel like one of them is a staff member, or was a staff member. I mean, I haven't played the game in a long time, so I don't know if they still watch me or not. So, hey, let's... Uh, I would like to think I contributed to helping. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, I kind of missed some of the flying dagger glitches, though. <laughs> God, I think that's my definitely my favorite episode, was the flying dagger. Ah, oh, okay. Went up to level 10. Ah, oh, hold on, you. Alright, hex bullets. So this attacks your voodoo. Your voodoo is pretty much your MP in the game. So if I hate an enemy and they're magic dealing, I can just do that then. Never... I didn't know that was an actual thing. To be honest with the pistols. And it's funny because it was level 10. So I... Hmm. I don't know if that's new or old. Pretty sure that's probably old. Because like I said, never really explored in too much of the, like, weapons and stuff. I think this is the last one, right? Yeah, that was the last one. This quest is done. Let's get out of here. We're gonna go ahead and sail back through the seven seas. Well, technically, we only sail through, like, one sea, don't we? <laughs> now, when I actually think about it, yeah, we only sail through, like, one sea. Well, actually, we could just teleport back. I'm too lazy, okay? Le leave me alone. <laughs> too lazy to be, you know, selling all the way there. Wish all the other islands had teleported too, but you know, then that'll make us way too lazy. <laughs> I can definitely see the loading times have gotten better. And I haven't really witnessed any, like, screen freezes. Because loading screen used to freeze to the point where it wouldn't even do anything. You you just have to restart the game completely. Haven't run into that, any of that since I came back, which is fantastic. So a lot of bugs that I've talked about through the series have definitely been fixed. It's funny because we talked about the guiding light so much, how it would take us to the most random places, and now I, I kind of miss it. <laughs> but thank God, because Oh, I hated it and loved it at the same time because it made me remember certain places. Like, I got into the point where I started to remember wearing, started to remember where characters were. Hold up. Have they fixed it? Oh, okay. No, they didn't fix the XP thing. Because if you guys don't know about the XP thing, um, each time I would, like, finish a quest. Oh, um. Okay, but yeah, each time I would, like finish a quest, I would get the XP, but it would not transfer to here for some reason. Like I could level up on my screen, my character said level up, but on here it would still say I'm level 21 until I actually like start killing enemies just to get there. So quest XP for some reason doesn't count to your actual XP, well to your actual character for some reason, even though it says you leveled up. It's, it's really weird, let's just say that. Like, I'll find another quest so we can take a look at that. Uh, wait. Doc is in here? Oh, no, Doc is in Oh, we, I was thinking of uh, G Gibby, Gibsy, or whatever his name was. Oh, God, I forgot his name. Gibbs. Okay, you see that little chunk? Of XP right there. Yeah. See? We got... This is the chunk that we got from the last quest. But for some reason, it's like a graphic weird... It's like a weird graphic error. Like, we should have, like, a slider big chunk than that. So, yeah, that's still going around. But to be honest, I didn't really talk about that bug too much. I think I said it said something about it like once or twice. That I just Oh. That I just stopped talking about it altogether. Apparently we still have another quest in here. Or or not? Oh, no, there he is. Yeah, Gibbs, that's what his name was.
Alright, wasn't Gibbs in, um... He was... Wait, is he sitting next to Jack, I think? Trying to remember everything. Honestly, yeah. Okay, yeah, he was sitting next to Jack. Trying to get, like, a bigger XP pool from this so I can show you guys the glitch again. Or the bug. Alright, so this is how much XP we have now. Just that little slither. Hopefully we get, like, 300 at least. No, another another 100. Oh, that's annoying. So we're now we're supposed to visit somebody else in the Tortica. Oh, alright. So we just played Aaron Board for a while. But let's go ahead and do this last quest, and I'm just going to end it off there. You guys will notice it now and then through the series, especially if you watch my like my older videos. It happens quite a bit. So this guy, Tortuga, all the way down here, at the beach. Yeah, at the beach. Is this the one that sits on a barrel or stands on a barrel? No, oh, no, a crate. What you got? What you got? I gotta go. You gotta go sink King Fishers the next video. Okay. Hey, we can do that. But yeah, guys, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Let me know. Also, yeah, let me know which, um, which way you guys enjoyed more. Me just playing through the quest and just talking with you guys or just skipping through most of the quest as I just farm through it. Because normally I would just cut out, you know, the farm. I would just sit here quietly, just killing enemies. Then once we're almost done with the quest, we just pretty much just cut all the grinding out. Then towards the end of the quest of like getting it completed, I'll come back to you guys and start talking to you. Because I feel like we can progress. A well, we could put more progress into the video if I was to do that. And... But if I was to talk to you guys, it'll probably be like one quest per video. But which one do you guys really enjoy more? More? I don't really care either way because either way it goes, we're still gonna be making progress. So, yeah. And plus, I get to play this game more and talk to you guys more. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose